welcome to 13th of chandri's godly blessing imagine a situation in front of you imagine a person who's very hard to tackle imagine your own weaknesses have created something in front of you and you are facing the situations you are facing that person you seem to be getting tired you seem to be slowing down stopping down in that situation and now suddenly you receive this beautiful godly blessing you receive this beautiful blessing in which you understand how to tackle that situation how you really need to be on the mark and be there with that person not treat that person as an enemy but be with the with that person help that person out to see the truth and at the same time move ahead and be go totally fearless be somebody who doesn't need to think what will happen what will i do if this person doesn't support me or this situation doesn't support me you are completely fearless because you know the laws so this is what god is saying over here that how do you do that and when you do that you actually make the other person also become wiser who is becoming an obstacle turns out to be your friend instead of an enemy yes it's possible So let's see over here what does God have to say. Supreme Father says, "May you be a true server and become a destroyer of obstacles and create an atmosphere of renunciation and tapasya. Until or unless in your family, in your organization, in your business, in your job, people are not ready to renounce. It could be name and fame. It could be being very close to the boss or the right hand of the boss and everybody trying hard to get there." instead of being somebody who needs praise appraisal every time if we are working with people who have got these weaknesses it becomes very difficult to handle such kind of an organization it's like it's like everybody becomes a leech of emotions first then of monetary values then of any kind of relationship nothing survives in that kind of organization so that's why god is saying become a destroyer of obstacles and create an atmosphere of renunciation what are you ready to renounce yourself and everybody else and tapasya the father's biggest title is supreme creator godfathers his biggest title is world servant he serves the whole world he changes every soul who's facing troublesome times who's tired of facing issues financial mental emotional physical In the same way children are also world servants he's talking about us we are also you are also world servant that is servers we are servers actually a server means a renunciate and a tapasvi a server doesn't need anything in return doesn't ask for anything in return doesn't say what do i get in return when i do this kind of service whether my name will come whether i'll get fame whether people will put my name in the newspapers in the top heading i want my name over there no they are renunciates and they are tapasvi they are always doing tap that means they are always burning away certain weaknesses within them when someone has renunciation and tapasya fortune comes in front of that one like a servant imagine bhagya comes to them they don't need to run after the bhagya bhagya comes to them in the form of a servant so what are you ready to give up with this ego with this jealousy with this hatred with this laziness with this postponement whether it's looking at the worst in others whether it's complaining blaming all these conditions what are you ready to leave and god says servers are those who give not those who take and they therefore remain constantly free from obstacles servers are those who give not those who take so if you serve if you have an organization where you are ready to give people appraisal you're ready to praise people you're ready to pay praise people equally for the effort with they are putting somebody might not be putting the same kind of effort but you're ready to praise them because you understand that is their capacity somebody else might be having a larger capacity and somebody else lesser capacity but you're still ready to praise both of them for the amount of effort which they can do and instead of looking for praises for yourself being a boss everybody's praising you and you like mm mm-hmm. as compared to that you're somebody who's giving everybody the praise imagine that kind of organization so as a leader you're giving you're not taking so that's what god is saying over here servers are those who give not those who take and they therefore remain constantly free from obstacles so if you are if you're only 
waiting for praise from everybody then anybody and everybody can actually use you by praising you and get something worse done through you exactly and that is where we have to be very careful we have to be very 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 careful because it's a very thin line which we walk when we become somebody who needs name fame appraisal praises from our subordinates whether it's in our home also to elderly people always looking for name always looking for fame always looking for love they're not giving then the whole family falters the whole organization falters it should move it should trickle down from top till bottom not the opposite way you are the seed of the organization you are the seed of your family you should be nourishing everybody else not the opposite way it's not the leaves which nourish the seed is the seed which nourishes the leaves so then god says servers are those who give not those who take and they therefore remain constantly free from obstacles otherwise there will be a lot of obstacles people will be coming up and praising you and everybody will be competing to praise you better and they'll have jealousy amongst themselves but it's family members but it's your organization people and that will be very tough to handle if you bring about that kind of sanskar or habit in your family members or in your organization very tough to handle them then by considering yourself to be a server and creating an atmosphere of renunciation and tapasya you will constantly be a destroyer of obstacles by considering yourself to be a server i'm here to serve not to be served and creating an atmosphere of renunciation and tapasya you're making everybody in the organization give up on name fame uh, monetary benefits and other things yes whatsoever you can bare minimum do they are ready to do it organizations haven't come up without sacrifices many organizations even religious organizations haven't come up without sacrifices so are you ready to sacrifice are you ready to do tap what are you ready to give up and that's what god is teaching us that's what he wants us to do to be successful more about this when you reach out to a brahma kumari center and learn the seven day meditation with us om shanti